I was on the Twitter rant. I said, we need to make a protest. Chastity talked to me about it because she was more intrigued than I was. She said it, she said it all up, basically. And I see it all the time. I couldn't sleep the other day when I seen what happened in, in Minnesota and Louisiana. I, I, I couldn't sleep. I, I was up all night I, I, just, just thinking about it because I've been arrested more times than, than fingers and toes. And it's, it's just sad because most times I didn't go peacefully. What if I was bigger? What, what if I was blacker? That would have been me. I think about that right now. My, my mother just had surgery for cancer. And I think like, damn, like, what if she had to go through this alone without me? Someone saying, how can we support you? I work with black and brown queer youth who come to my organization every week and I have to sit with them and unpack all the trauma that's been happening. I literally just sat with them and unpacked Orlando and made trauma bags for them so they could sit and have these real intense conversations. But how much gimp and pipe cleaners can I give to kids who feel afraid to walk down the street? Because it's not going to save their life and it's not going to mend their heart. This is bigger than just police killing us, which is a big deal. Right. Like, not saying that at all. This is bigger than that. Like, I want y'all to understand when you walk around with these Black Lives Matter posts, you mean all of us. When you talk about Black Lives Matter, you better mean all of us. Because I matter. I can't matter. <laughs> so, this is about doing the work. You can't just do the work for black men. You can't just take up the space for black men because I matter too. Because my friends matter too and my community matters too. When you ask, when you ask, are people afraid? Some people said no. I'm afraid, and I, and I really think you're you're foolish, and you're 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 missing something if you're not afraid right now. Because I don't I don't know if you understand what's really going on. I'm afraid for my black trans tra trans people. I'm afraid for myself, my family. I'm afraid. I'm afraid, but that's not going to stop me from speaking up. It's sad that a tragedy had to bring us all together. We should have came together before the tragedy actually started. But I'm happy to see a well-diversified crowd. We need volunteers, people that we can reach out to for other actions, because trust me, there's going to be a lot of actions uh, from this point forward. There's not going to be any let up. Y'all hear me? There's not going to be any let up. Yes. The Latinx vision of citizenship should not only be for our undocumented families from the South, but for the 40 million black Americans who live in America every day and are still waiting to live the dream that Dr. Martin Luther King had said was promised to them. I will say this today, that I am filled with hope. Hope that in the city of Holyoke, amidst all of this uncertainty, we are here because in these moments is when real change occurs. We must, and I must say, that the, there is a new civil rights movement in America that is born from the Black Lives Matter movement that includes the freedom and uncolonization of Puerto Rico, the LGBT community, and all of you here today. Together, we shall overcome. We will be united. Unidos, united, unidos, united, unidos, united, unidos, united. Thank you all so much. When people get arrested, I love they get arrested. And, and, some of us are not going to be able to get jobs unless we're doing something or not. How does it make right? you feel? If we want to, uh, if and when we do civil disobedience, we will have training for that. Right? And there will be certain people uh, who will be the It makes them feel good. It makes me feel good. Civil disobedience. 